so it is Tuesday and of course I have a doctor's appointment today so I am on the way there now my appointment is at um shit I don't even know I don't even know I'm not gonna lie but I put in my calendar 9 15 so I'm thinking it's probably 9 25 somewhere around there um it's currently 8 40 so I'm headed there now um I had to make myself some breakfast so I just have some strawberries some blackberries um a bagel and some chicken breakfast sausage so I put that in a to-go container and I'm basically eating breakfast while driving so I will continue the vlog once I make it to the doctor's office All right, you guys, so I'm about five minutes away from the doctor's office. I apologize if my camera is shaky. Um, it's because I have it on this dock thing in my car now. For when I'm walking in the car, I have to see how it all looks after then. I have to change my methods. But um, just a slight update. I am 33 weeks and six days so basically i'll be 30 i can't even get my words out lord jesus i'll be 34 weeks tomorrow so um next week i am planning on installing my car seat because i kind of um asked my doctor and she said between like 35 and 36 weeks is a good time to go ahead and install it so i'm not going to actually put the actual car seat in here but i'm going to install the base so i'll be doing that next week um i'm also working on my hospital bag so you guys will be receiving that video soon as well um and that's honestly about it as far as updates um i'll be giving you guys a slight update as far as a few symptoms that i've been experiencing and things that i've been noticing um after i leave the doctor's office so yeah i will continue once i sign in and make it to my room Alrighty, so they just took my blood pressure, which is really good. Uh, it has been good every time I came, but they said this is actually the best one. So that's good. Um, they're running my urine sample right now to check for protein or sugar, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then they're going to move me to another room. So yeah, and I'm not actually seeing my doctor today. I'm seeing the nurse practitioner. Um, damn, I literally, like it just, it just left um i see her when my doctor is unavailable so basically this is my second time seeing her but all of the rest of my appointments will be with my doctor so my next appointment is in two weeks and then after that appointment i'll be going every week still waiting on the doctor to come in So uh, definitely at your next visit, mm -hmm. uh, is, uh, when a couple of different things will happen. One uh, is when we start doing exams again to check cervix for dilation. Oh, great. This is also usually when we kind of confirm baby's position. It actually okay. sounds by where we hear the heartbeat that the head is already down. Okay. Uh, head's very close to the uh, heart. So when we hear that heartbeat well below your belly button, that usually tells us the head is down there. Okay. But also uh, when we do exams next time as well, 
That is something definitely you can feel down in the pelvis when they do the exam. Okay. So definitely if there's any question as to how the baby's positioned, they would do just a quick ultrasound at the bedside to take a look and see. Okay. But it actually sounds like that's where that baby is already. Okay. So. <laughs> but I, I've, I've been feeling like, I guess, like bigger movements up here and more so like flutters down here. Right. So that's why I was kind of like... What's going on in there? Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Good. And you measure perfectly, you're measuring there right at 34 centimeters. Okay. So you are measuring right on target. Okay. What that measure means for us, so that you All right, guys, so I am leaving the doctor's office. So just a small um, recap while I catch my breath. So basically, I just asked, um, like I told y'all, I didn't actually see my doctor today. I saw a nurse practitioner that I see when my doctor is not available. So um, basically, I was just asking her like a few common questions. So she was saying that um, on my next appointment, I'm going to get a cervical check. Um, well, I guess I'll be I'll be starting cervical checks weekly since I'll be going weekly now. And um, with my next appointment, she said that they need to check me for a um, bacteria, which is, I want to say she said like something like B or C or something. Um, she said it's like a natural bacteria that you would have like in your cervical area or your, um, or your vaginal. And she was like, if you do have it, then um, when you do go into labor, they'll have to give you some um, antibiotics and an IV that will prevent that from going to the baby. So my next appointment, they'll do a swab and find out if I have that and then we'll know, like once I do go into labor, that I have to have that. Um, so I did tell her that I wanted to do unmedicated labor and everything and she said that um, with me having that antibiotic, it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't affect anything with me wanting to have a natural labor. So, um, as y'all saw, she did do the measurements uh, for my cervix. Tomorrow I'll be 34 weeks and I'm measuring right at 34 centimeters. So she said that that means that baby is measuring around um, four, between four and a, four, come on, between four and four and a half pounds. So um, she said that everything is on track and everything's looking good. So thank you for that. Um, trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. So I kind of cut the video um, after because my arm was starting to burn. <laughs> I have something in my teeth. Um, but yeah, so she said everything, everything is good. Everything's uh, looking fine. Um, and I kind of was just asking like common labor questions. Like when I do go into labor, like where do I call and where do I go and all that kind of stuff. Um, so she told me I just call the regular hospital number. And then um, once I get there, I go to the 11th floor. They'll make sure that I'm actually in active labor. And then, you know, we'll go from there. So yeah, um, as I did tell you guys, now this metro bus is so close to this truck like oh my goodness so as i did tell you guys i'm going to be installing my car seat um next week she said that that's fine honestly you can do it whenever you would like to but she said um you know i will be full term at 37 weeks um but you never know you know when baby will come so if you want to go ahead and get that done then i can so i'm just going to go ahead and get that done next week and then um pack my hospital bag me and Jerry will pack our hospital bags and then that's really pretty much it um I honestly i just want to make sure that i didn't miss anything that she told me because all the information that she gave me was really important um but i am up to date with all of my vaccinations um and blood tests and things like that. I've already registered for labor. And so she was saying like, you're doing really good. <laughs> like you're very proactive. So um, as of right now, I don't really have anything left to do. So my next appointment is on September 
29th, which is in two weeks, of course. And um, then I'll be going to the doctor weekly. So when I get home, um, I will give you guys a 33 week, 30, I guess 32 to 33 week uh, pregnancy update, just kind of explaining, you know, what's been going on and um, how the third trimester is treating me so lovely. All right, you guys, so I am back um, after two days <laughs> with a new hairstyle. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to be doing a 32 through uh, 33 week pregnancy update. Just letting you guys know what I've been experiencing and some things that have been going on. Uh, so, yeah, first of all, I'm ridiculous. I literally forgot um, to finish the video and then I'm hair done and then yeah just just a lot happened so yeah but let's go ahead and get right into it so um to start off one thing that i have been really struggling with is sleeping um which i feel like in this time is pretty hard anyway um i've looked up a lot of things that i could possibly do to improve that um, it's really more so like just like night pains and then getting up to pee a lot. Um, so I have like a lot of pain in my hips. So I, of course you can only sleep on your side. So I have to alternate sides throughout the night. I also have a pillow underneath that I lay on top of, um, that I put my sides on top of, but I've actually been kind of like, it's really hard to explain. So it's like I'm laying on my side but I am putting most of the weight on my back. So it's like my hip is on the bed. However, it's like, I'm kind of like lean back. So I've been sleeping like that for about two weeks and it's become a lot more comfortable than, um, than just laying down because it was getting to the point where it was just too ridiculous. So um, that's my number one thing. Another thing that I've looked up that I have been told that, that really does help with sleep is Tylenol PM. Um, I haven't tried it yet only because I am kind of scared. Um, I know Tylenol is pretty much the only medication you can take during pregnancy, but Tylenol PM, that's like a step up. So I'm thinking it's kind of like a night quill kind of thing. Um, and I'm not sure if I want to go there yet. So I'm just kind of really testing out the waters and doing any and everything that I can to try to sleep before I go that far. So I've been experiencing these sleep issues all the way from the start of my second trimester. Well, really probably starting around 30 weeks when I've started to feel a lot heavier. So um, another thing that I have been experiencing is really like loss of appetite. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm super hungry um, as far as breakfast goes. So I eat breakfast and then after breakfast, it's kind of just like, I'm not hungry for the rest of the day. Like, I'll, of course, I'll still eat, you know, lunch and everything like that because I know I have to eat. And if I don't eat, then yes, I will feel sick or um, nauseous, that kind of thing. But it's come to the point where, you know, usually you're kind of starving when those meals come up. But now it's kind of like I just get full so fast because I literally have no stomach. <laughs> it's like everything from here to here is all baby now. So it's literally like, you know, you don't have any room to put your food that you are eating. So when I do eat, I am eating a lot less, but also eating a lot less frequently. So that's another thing. Um, I haven't had any issues with swelling or anything like that, which I'm really happy about, um, mainly because I can't imagine walking around with sausage toes. <laughs> So I've been trying to drink a lot of water and stay away from salt because that is the main thing that causes swelling. So um, just, you know, dealing with that. Um, but I know really it starts kind of when you're closer to delivery. So it could be about two weeks before I deliver where I start swelling. So I'm just trying to do everything that I can to prevent that. Um, another thing that I've definitely been experiencing is... Um, breakouts which have been honestly from the beginning but now it's kind of like back and forth it's like I'll have great skin one day to the point where I don't have any pimples and then the next day I wake up and I'm five pimples here um broken out all of my cheeks here and it's just like ridiculous but one thing that has really um helped 
or I guess one thing that has really improved is my chest. So, you know, my chest area was breaking out really bad in the beginning of my pregnancy. So I had an itch in my throat. <coughs> no, I don't have corona. Excuse me. So, you know, my chest was breaking out really bad at the beginning of my pregnancy to where I would literally have breakouts all over my chest and my shoulders. Um, so I have been exfoliating the area really well as well as my shoulders. And also, whenever I do moisturize my skin and my stomach, I also moisturize my um, face like from down here, my chest and my shoulders. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I need a water break real quick. Okay, if y'all hear noise outside, I really apologize. I don't know what's going on out there, but I'm hearing some things. So if y'all hear that, I apologize. Um, but just to continue where I left off, I had to drink some water. It was like something stuck in my throat. I don't know what the hell. So um, leaving off from skin problems, you know, that has severely improved um, as far as body acne. I wouldn't say body acne has kind of gross really just like chest and shoulders but um as far as my face i've just been using the same skin routine that i have which is using the biore face wash the um rose quartz face wash and then going behind that with a moisturizer because my, my nose area here has been very very dry since the beginning really like peeling and everything um as well as my lips so I moisturize and exfoliate my lips about twice a day. I exfoliate in the morning and at night. And then I always try to make sure I have some kind of chapstick on them, which I do not right now. <laughs> Don't get on me. <laughs> but any other time, um, definitely just making sure that those things are taken care of. So um, one more thing that I can definitely say that I've noticed a change in is my mood. Um, I'm always pretty, you know, happy for the most part, but it's like this, around this time, I've been getting very irritated kind of fast. Um, and I, I am working on it, but you know, it's just kind of like one minute I'm great and then the next minute I'll be really upset and then the next minute I'll just feel like kind of down. Like, I don't know, it's weird. But I mean, I know that kind of comes with pregnancy also really just um, mood swings and things like that. But it's like the third trimester is just kind of crazy. <laughs> So, um, honestly, things have been really the same. Um, no issue, no other issues that I can think of. Um, my Braxton Hicks haven't been as bad at all. Um, I haven't had any issues with back pain, really, unless I'm kind of laying in a really uncomfortable position. Um, so, yeah. Um, third trimester, really, I've just noticed I've been feeling a lot more tired since I'm not getting any sleep at night. And then also, you know, feeling really heavy because she is gaining a lot of weight and I can literally kind of like feel it. When she switches positions, she's kind of like switching like on top of my bladder so I can feel that. So just like pee a lot, which is normal. Um, so all those things are like, you know, nothing I'm really worried about, but just things that are kind of irritating so yeah just wanted to give you guys a quick 32 to 33 week update just to let you guys know exactly what's been going on and now i'm just going to show you guys a quick bump date and then that'll be about it just real quick before i do the bump date i forgot to let you guys know um i am doing my maternity shoot on this Saturday, which I will be vlogging for you guys. Um, and my baby shower is actually next Saturday and it'll be a um, virtual baby shower. I have all of my baby shower links in the description box below. Um, you guys do not have to be um, feeling like you're pressured to buy something, but you know, people like baby, so. <laughs> I just went ahead and included that in my bio um, just in case any of, any of my subscribers want to, um, you know, gift anything to me and Jared. And um, we will be opening those gifts on our actual baby shower day. And I'll also be doing a separate baby shower haul. So if I do get any gifts from subscribers, I'll be kind of doing that separately just to show appreciation to you guys and all of the gifts are coming directly to my address. My address is hidden, of course, but um, just to let y'all know so it's a lot more convenient. 
Alrighty, so as you guys can see, this is my quick little bump date. Um, I know y'all can kind of tell I'm kind of sitting a lot, a little bit lower, not a lot, but um, all of this up here is pretty much empty and then baby literally kind of starts like right about here. So all of this hard part here is baby and then literally I'm still having like a lot of fluid down here. She's not really down here at all. But of course I did tell you guys when I went to the doctor that they did say she was head down. So that is a great thing. All right, you guys. So as always, just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to my videos. Um, I will be posting the maternity shoe vlog as soon as, as it is finished um, and edited. So you guys should be seeing that video coming up next. And then the nursery vlog, um, nursery tour rather is also coming, uh, just waiting for my glider. So that's literally the last thing that I'm waiting on to go ahead and do the nursery tour for you guys. So I just have a lot of great videos coming up that I'm very, very excited about. Uh, but just always wanna thank you guys so much for all of your support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.